Thanks for clicking in. Today we're going to discuss OneScreen Hype. Now, OneScreen Hype is the newest video platform released by OneScreen. The great news with OneScreen Hype is that it's going to be WebRTC based, meaning that it's going to be run over the web, in this case specifically Google Chrome. What's great about this is that there's no installs, no downloads, no plugins, so everything is going to run right through the browser. It's still AES 256 encrypted, so you have a very secure calling mechanism, and you can still host up to a 50 point call with any one screen account holder. So again, you have a very robust application there. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to click on my Chrome icon. Now, obviously, when you go to the initial website, which is hype.clarityicon.com, you're going to go ahead and enter your username, which is your email and your password, and then you get to our home screen. Now, what you'll notice here is we have our standard list of people that are in my one screen world. And of course, you can see there's a lot of people there. In, in our situation right now, I'm gonna go ahead and truncate this list by clicking on this icon and then just clicking on my online user. So right now, there's three people available to me. And this makes it really nice and easy so I know who's available that I can communicate with right off the bat. Now, in terms of communication, I can easily do an ad hoc call by just clicking on that phone icon. I can also do do a quick chat with any one of these guys if I want to just uh, give them a real quick chat, maybe see if they're even available for a video call for that matter. And you also even have a search feature so when you do have a much longer list, you can just type someone's name in and at that point you can go ahead and, and get straight to the name versus having to scroll through everything. You'll also notice I have a bunch of icons down here that we'll get to and then again over here on this side as well. Now. I do want to engage a video call to give everybody a perspective of how this is going to look. So right now I'm going to click on start meeting. Now again, the start meeting is going to go ahead and bring up a big list. Now the reason I'm doing this versus just doing an ad hoc calling the, the clicking on the phone icon is that I'm doing a three point call. So anytime I'm doing a multiple point call, this is probably the best way to do it. You'll also notice down here I have invite via email. This is a huge factor because again, since this is web based, this makes it very easy for other participants outside of the ones screen world to be involved in these one screen video calls. Now, if I put someone's email in there, it's going to go ahead and send out to their email and then they just have a little link in there that they click on. It'll go into their Google Chrome browser and literally at that point, all they have to do is click on join as a guest and their video is going to automatically pop in with, with the one screen users as well. And then the last area down here is a four digit passcode for just some added security for that specific meeting. So I'm going to click on start meeting. It's going to ask if I want to actually invite them. I click on OK and now we're in the call process. So right now it's basically ringing on their site. I'm waiting for them to engage the call and at that point you're going to actually get obviously at least one if not two or multiple windows depending on how many people you're actually engaging in that call. So right now we have a three point call going. We have the two gentlemen here, Roy and Jared. And now I also have my box down here so that they can see me or more importantly I know what they're seeing of me so that way we have our nice three way video application. Now a couple of things real quick. I'm going to go over some of these icons on the side. When I click on this sh uh, share screen area, what this does is it tells me that I can either share my entire screen screen or I can share just a document. So maybe I just want to share a, a PDF, a Word doc or something to that effect. Instead of my whole screen, I can choose that, click on it and then click on share. And then of course, these two gentlemen would see that on their side. Now in this case, uh, I want you to actually experience that as well. So I'm going to have each gentleman share a document from their side. Now a lot of platforms are going to allow for one document sharing. In this case, we can actually allow for multiple and you'll see that in about a second. Right now we have Roy sharing his screen. This is going to be a uh, looks like a PDF and then now we have Jared popping in at the same time. Now what's great about this is we do have our dual monitor uh, or dual, dual feature for video. We have also now our two uh, video screens of, of documents. Now on top of that, I do have a layout button over here. If I click on that guy, it's actually going to change my layout. In this place is point, it's going to go to a, a one large with the, the other people over here. But more importantly, if I want to see anybody else, I just click on it or even the document at that point. And now we can focus more on that specific document or that screen uh, that's being shared and we can take a look at that guy. Now, if I want to look at the other one, I can click on that one as well and go to the next slide. So I, as the viewer, can choose which document I want to see as long as they're sharing it with me. Now, the other little thing here is if I left click on this, it gives me the option to either get rid of it or even do a full screen expansion. This can be really important really when you, when you really want to just focus specifically on that 
that document and not even have any of the other video windows showing. And again, showing very good detail. And as it looks right now, it, due to the quality, it actually looks like it's a document that's actually on my computer, not running through the web. So again, quality wise, it's fantastic. We're shooting at 1080p video right now and having a very high level of a video call. Now, additionally, what I'm going to do is go down here. Now, you also have icons down here during your video session, okay? Now, if I click on record, record's actually going to go ahead and start recording the meeting. And you'll notice that everybody that, not only do I get this record icon, but everybody's going to get that. So everybody now knows that they're being recorded during the video session. I already clicked on that guy right there, which is the group chat. Instead of doing a singular chat, this is actually a group chat that everybody can view in case someone wants to keep some running notes or just, uh, uh, have something to, to share otherwise with the whole group. Very simple, you have mic mute, speaker mute, and even video mute. And when I click on video mute, what you'll notice is an actual uh, audio only sign that comes up and you're not actually at this point seeing my video. And all I have to do is click it again to re-engage my video, just like I would re-click this guy for the audio applications as well. And then simply put, you have your hang up button right there once you're ready to get out of the meeting. Now. Another couple of things over here on the left hand side, there's a whiteboarding feature. Uh, very simple, very nice and easy to use. At this point, when I click on the whiteboarding feature, everybody is going to get an, uh, a sign that comes up that says, do you want to view the whiteboard? And if they say yes, then they're going to see this exact same screen. And now everybody and anybody in this meeting can go ahead and start taking notes uh, about whatever it is that they want to do. And so if in, any one of them wanted to add something, which they're adding circles right now, uh, you can just add some notes. Very rudimentary, nice and easy. Uh, it's not going to replace our one screen annotate software by any means uh, is that's a very high powered tool but this is just nice and simple if you need to take some quick notes during a video session uh, if I click on the whiteboard icon again it disappears and now we're back to our standard call and then I do want to jump back into invite a member real quick because right now if I click on invite from contacts again I can choose anybody else to be added to this meeting if this was already an engaged meeting uh, just by clicking on their name clicking on invite but you'll also notice I still have the invite via email so even then a non one screen user can be invited even during a video session without having to have any breaks. And then one other thing which is pretty important here is the dial. This also allows you to use this as an audio bridge. So if you have people that might not have access to a camera or some kind of you know computer, tablet, smartphone, etc., and they just want to be on an audio call, you can actually call them directly and actually dial them to their phone specifically, which adds another nice little aspect there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll let these gentlemen go. Uh, I know they're busy, so I'll go ahead and hang up on them. It still asks me if I wanna hang up. I click on OK, and now our meeting's gonna go ahead and, 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 and time out at that point. So what we're gonna do now is cover the rest of these icons real fast. Now. Contacts, real simple, these are our contacts listed. When I click on meetings, any meeting that's been scheduled is gonna be archived right here. I click on communities and you have an area where you can actually set up different communities, different groups of people. Again, your one screen world might be very large and you might wanna have subsects of different one screen categories for different groups of people that may maybe wanna keep it nice and, and um, uh, keep it nice and separate. Um, I also can click on my history button this gives us a history, a running list of everything that's occurred, and of course my recordings right here where I can just click on play and watch any recording that we've already done. Now, jumping over here to the left-hand side again, you have a quick little area that has another little history tab. There's your meeting areas right here that just has recent meetings of what's happened, and you have a nice little settings link. This is something where if you need to change a password or a setting or, or any kind of feedback application, you can do that right there. Uh, we already discussed start a meeting. Schedule a meeting is very important. Of course, if if you don't want to do an ad hoc meeting and you want to schedule one, otherwise, click on meeting tile. Title, you can click on meeting title. Uh, give it a title, obviously. I click on the date and time. I can choose a certain date. Click on the clock right here. That way you can access the specific time. And again, I can choose anybody in my one screen world and or anybody via email. And if I do need to invite multiple people, I can just separate their email with the space. And again, I can even choose a passcode if I wanna have it a little bit more secure. And this will then send an, send an email invite to everybody that's a part of this so they know when to engage with the meeting at that point. Now, you also have join a meeting icon where if someone was already in a meeting, you can just give them a uh, you can get a five digit code, you can just add that, join that meeting pretty quickly. And then of course, you have your group chat. This will be something where 
outside of a video call, you can even do a group chat and choose the people that are online and you can actually do a quick chatting session with them. So again, one screen hype is taking it to the next level, making it easy, seamless, secure to do your video calling. And again, this is not just going to be for conference room applications. You have your whole one screen system that's going to be great for conference rooms and boardrooms and classrooms and things of that nature. But now it's really expanding and saying, hey, if you have a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop, a desktop, desktop anywhere in the world you can be a part of these video calls so now what you're doing is really ranging out to to people at their in their cubicle their office their home office if they're traveling in a hotel even in their car as long as they have internet access they're going to be able to be a part of that video session and really engage and get that face-to-face -face that you're looking for now additionally one screen hype also has the ability to connect h.323 and sip and even with skype for business so that's another application to have interoperability with other platforms as well we appreciate you guys joining us today be sure to reach out to us for your live online demonstration you can reach out to our u.s headquarters at 800 992 5279 and you'll be directed to the best demonstration team for your area thanks again we'll see you next time